Hi friends, let's go and make a very unique rainbow ring. To make this wire ring, of course, we need a wire of 20 gauge and 26 gauge for the weaving parts, main tools, wire cutter, round nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. We need a very sharp ending part at round nose pliers or chain nose pliers. And I'm using round nose pliers and of course the very tiny pearls. You could also use crystal beads or stones too. Also, we are going to hammer this wire ring to texturize and flatten the surface. First, pick up 20 gauge wire, pull it on one side Put it between round nose pliers and roll it just like when you are making a jump ring. But we don't do that for one complete round. We just stop rolling at the midpoint just like this and a half circle. Then put round nose pliers at the midpoint and make a bend. Now we have a half loop here. We are going to make another one and if I start making it just after the first half circle we have extra space in between and I'm doing that just in front of the start point so I open it up just like when you're opening a jump ring put the round nose pliers in front of the start point and then make a bend and again close that half circle and here I'm using chain nose pliers to put this structure and little by little wrap the wire onto the first part. Now I have two half circles onto each other's and here I'm doing the same for the third row. So make another bend just push it a little if needed and at the other side another bend and roll it with chain nose pliers to have the third row. How many times do we need to repeat this process? It absolutely depends on you. Just let me check it out on my finger and I think it's a little tiny so I continue making the rows for at least about two other rows. So again I put round nose pliers, another bend at right and left and to roll it to have another row. Let's check it out again. And I think it's perfect when it's done making those semicircle rows. Make sure you have a very little space between the two final rows because we are going to make some weaving parts there and then make the last bend at the ending point. Make the wire a little straight and pick up a piece of paper. Roll it all around the finger that you're going to make this ring for. Unwrap it and put the piece on. This is the length with the zayer and I bend it with my finger and then put about one centimeters for the weaving part. Then cut it out with wire cutter. Put the piece on the metal hammer 
and start hammering it. Continue that till the point you had bent. Now we've done hammering this piece and we flatten the surface and this is the time to wrap it all around a cylindrical shape like I'm doing this marker. Wrap the piece of paper the size of my ring all around it and it's okay. So I use it to bend the wire structure too. Just put the rainbow part onto this marker, wrap it all around to have one round of wrapping. Here I'm going to close the circle with round nose pliers and by bending the ending point and insert it in and make a very, very little loop here. But before squeezing this very little loop tight, insert it again into the ring mandrel or into the marker and here squeeze the loop with round nose pliers. Just like when you're fastening a tie, just squeeze the space to be attached completely and make a joint here. Then cut the extra part out with wire cutter and then again squeeze the ending point so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left. Alright, another time put the ring onto the mandrel and this time with the plastic part of your tool start hammering it on all parts. The basic wire rainbow ring is ready. Just here I need to make this part a little more closed so I do the refinements with chain nose pliers and here I'm going to add this little pearls all around. Pick up the thinner wire of about 26 gauge, insert it in, roll it and make at least three ties at one side and repeat that and squeeze them with chain nose pliers. Then cut the extra part with wire cutter and squeeze the ending point with chain nose pliers too. And here cut the wire out in about 10 centimeters. I'm going to move it at the beginning part because I need the wire to be free so that I could insert the pearls in. So I insert the first one, I push it to be placed here and then insert the thinner wire between the last two rows of rainbow and then fix it with my nail just like this and to repeat the same for the whole area. This would be the result inserting the other pearls too and at the ending point we make another weaving part and make a wire coil here too. So make the wire looped and pull it with round nose pliers, cut it at the very end 
and squeeze the end in part two. Now this is ready, the very beautiful wire rainbow ring. Hope you make one and enjoy it so much. I'm using it with the bracelet we have made before and I put the link of the tutorial in the description. Thanks for watching. That's so precious for me. Take care and bye-bye.